recording. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ben from the Ben River Show. We got Marcosons in the house. Marcosons. Marcosons, and we got Marcosons. <laughs> oh my God, this camera just froze. <laughs> I forgot how to, I forgot how to, uh, whoever gave Ben something, just don't do it again. Yeah, please don't. Oh, the camera's working now, so where did you stop? Hi, everybody, thanks for joining us. What camera was it? Which one is it? Oh, it's right here. Okay. There, now we're off. All right, so we're uh, live here at Black River Studios with the Ben River Show. We got Marcos over here. We got Michelle on the side. And we got Junior on the side. What <laughs> hey, your your face is matching his, uh, this, I don't know what you're saying. I was going to say something about that. But... <laughs> anyway, so we want to thank everybody for joining. Uh, apologize for the weird setup that we got going on here. We got over here, we got the screen. You'll see it when I upload it. Apparently I got blocked, temporarily blocked on Facebook for something I might have said that I don't even remember. And I'm not going to say it again because I'll probably block it now. Are you recording? Hi, Miho. How are you doing? So, uh, tonight we have uh, our special guest, Michelle and Junior from Miller Inc. Tattoo. They want you to talk to us about well, a few things. Their business and also their Backpack, back to school backpack event that they have coming up. Sorry, I'm trying to fix it. So let's go ahead and uh, move it on to them, and that way they can explain what they're doing. I'm going my Doritos. We want free chips. <laughs> so, it might be backwards to you guys, but we don't give a crap. <laughs> Just kidding. So we got Michelle, and we got. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for joining Hi. <laughs> Hey, Michelle, what's Junior, up? Junior, thank you for joining. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Ben has been on one severe Oof. lashing. Oh, you know what? I just remembered I could do this. Oh, stupid. So it's actually, now it looks good. Look, everybody, there we are. Oh, my God. So we got Michelle and Junior. <laughs> Junior's very tired, but he said he will he will be on the show. We, we appreciate him being Both of them coming on the show. So go ahead and talk about your... Here, let me put this right here. Oh, oh. Watch me actually stop it. All right, Michelle, if you want to start, go ahead and uh, tell us what your, who you are and what business you are. I'm Michelle. I do Michelle Cross, but I also am a shop manager at the Learning Tattoo Studio. And JFR is the artist, piercer, and the owner. We've been over at Miller Inc. since December 2029, or two, 2019. And we just, <laughs> and we just moved from the smaller studio to the larger studio. Oh, keep going. Keep going. Keep going. So, um, you guys run, how long have you been in that studio? We started in a smaller studio you guys were in before here, and... 2008 or two, yeah 2019 mm -hmm. so and uh go ahead and, and junior if you if you if you have a few words if you want to just say hey how you doing hey hey i'm junior. sorry everybody i'm not tattooed all day today so he's very, very tired hard. He's, he's tired everybody he just wanted to come and, and support so that's awesome oh, yeah. uh oh i didn't turn my phone <laughs> <laughs> that's junior everybody Oh yeah, no. Problem. So, uh, you guys have any? Uh, uh, do you guys have any specials at your at your at the tier two show? Um, anything you want to share? I mean, we just have a little bit of everything going on. I know we did just adjust our pricing for tattoos and piercings to set rates at things. We added, we reintroduced the tap out specials for tattoos. So, like for a half day. Which is four fifty, but that's like a five five six hour session. Right. It's four hundred and fifty dollars, and that's with no breaks or whatever, no numbing cream. And then the full day tap out is eight eight nine. hours, nine. nine hours for nine hundred dollars. And then if you go longer than that, it goes up a little bit. But. Okay. And then our 
or not low pricing tattoos, like the size of a quarter start at fifty dollars and like that. So piercings are just one set rate now instead of having random pricing to it. So no. sweet. Because yeah. I'm looking to get this fixed. How much would that cost? Just to color it back. Well, <laughs> now, back to me. <laughs> tired, 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 ladies and gentlemen. But um, um, it's about the size of a card, so it'd be about a hundred bucks. Oh, good. Because I was thinking you were gonna say like two fifty. No. Do you want it to be more? We no, gonna, we're good. We're gonna that's have a good price. I'll take it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is man fair. Yeah, that's a good price. Uh, no, it is, a, it's a, it is a fair price. So, and then like with a lot all our pricing now, it's, so our pricing to make it easier for the clients, it's like a size of a quarter is $50, then you have the credit card size, the size of a dollar bill, and then it goes up from there. But it's like broken down to category, like color, no color, all of it. Make it a little easier for people. <laughs> now remember everybody, Miller, oh, hold on, let me, let me close our books. <laughs> Since he wants to walk out of the room, he doesn't get the people like I <laughs> So remember, oh hey, thanks, Luis and Kaiser. No, I'm not. Don't ever say that again. He said, "Am I going to get the cheater across the U of M on your arm?" No, I'm not. Oh man, nice try. And Angela Zuria, what up? Uh, so Miller Inc. Tattoo is open, so they are in the location right around the corner from us. They are looking, I mean, if you got an uh, idea for a tattoo, go in, get, get some price quotes with them. What's your address again? 665 Douglas Avenue. 665 Douglas Avenue. They are open, what is it, 12 to 9? Yep. 12 to 9. 12 to 9, Monday through f- Every day. Every day. Seven days a week. Every day, seven days a week. Go ahead, go ahead and, and check them out. They got an awesome studio. It's really, it's actually really cool. I like the way they get the, the idea to go. I know. They got an autograph area too. I mean, the whole process of the new one, we wanted to make sure that there was everything was broken down to an area and everything had its place and flowed together. So there was a lot of thought and a lot of process in that whole scenario. That's pretty cool. Second. Uh, it's actually got, uh, like I said, they got, uh, diff- oh, they do piercings as well. Piercings, they got a spot where you can get, like, uh, they got, where's that? Kind of, <coughs> where they got an area where they, you get, like, customized, made, like, pens and stuff. Do you have one of them? No, but I have a picture. Oh, okay. I just took some new pictures of one. Right. So, yeah, they're, they're, Great people. They're uh, you know very respectable. They they listen to what you want. Uh, he does whatever he can. Oh, here's a picture of the kind of the pens that they make. Of course, they got to make the awesome Michigan ones. I mean, That's we have everything from like horror characters. Except for oh. Ohio State. No, I'm just well, we don't have no Ohio State. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Adam. They don't have Ohio State. Sorry. Sorry. Well, we have like NFL, we have Barbie, Hello Kitty, we have like a whole variety. And then we even have the keychains of it. So, some of, if you want like the pin to match the keychain, we have the keychains to match them too. That's good. Yeah. Grupo Fierro says, yo, what up? He said, don't pay attention to the keychain. So, like, those are like some of the keychains. Oh, there's some, oh, those are cool. Oh, yeah, that's awesome. I like those. And she did our uh, logo for our doors, so that's pretty cool. What up, Elias? Fire these nuts. Add them, fire. <laughs> they're, going at, they're going at each other. Um, so, yeah, they, uh, what's, okay, so you have a, an, an event for back, back to school. Uh, yeah. All right, well, if you guys want to explain how that works. So with talking to a lot of our clients and some of them are teachers and stuff, they were saying there's a big need for back to school backpacks and supplies. So we kind of want to, this is our first year doing it and we kind of just want to help out anything helps out. So what we have is 
If you bring in a backpack with fifty dollars in supplies, you get a twenty dollar voucher. And then we have if you bring seventy five, there's a fifty dollar voucher. Or fifty it probably goes to seventy five. And then a hundred dollars. But these vouchers you'll get them when you make your bring in your backpack. We'll give you one of these to match whatever one you bring in and then it's you don't have to use it that day. You can use it until when the unit needs it. Um just will work which So is and then so, you know, yeah. it doesn't have to be off of one tattoo or a piercing. You can use it towards when you come in, you can use a voucher on that day that you choose to come in. But um we also set up links on our Miller Inc. page where if somebody, like, if they're out of state or out of town and can't make it into the studio to donate a backpack, mm -hmm. we can have it where there's a link for you to choose whatever, and then we'll take that money and we'll go either donate it to the school of choice or the school that it's going to, or we can go do the shopping for the backpacks and all that. So there's different links and everything that are attached to our Miller Inc. Facebook page. So directly go in there, you can check it out yourself and... <laughs> They will know. We'll get notified and then we'll send you a voucher for your donation. So you have any uh, ideas of, have you guys ever thought about too, I know it's still fresh and you know, you're here in your, your new spot, but have you guys ever thought about like opening a second location? I mean, eventually we are looking to I mean, um, we, real events. Yeah, but I mean, our next venture would be moving into an actual building just by ourselves and then having the parking lot, you know, just a building by itself and then venture out from there. And, oh, he was in, and then he was even talking about maybe even like doing kind of like a, a tattoo pet piercing school, like Ooh, actually teaching good, yeah. so good. that, because we know there's a lot of people doing it out of the house, but the only thing with that is, is there's consequences to getting it done out of your house. Mm -hmm. And it's not just for the artist, it's also the person. So that's why we educate people, because there are tattoo artists that were in the studios, yeah. and then they decided to go out of the house and they're telling people, and they're even having fake licensing up on their walls. Yeah, that's so, that would be one thing that I'd be worried about. So <laughs> we did have a client actually came in and he was being tattooed by an artist that was in a studio for a long time here. And he even had, the actual like Michigan, it had a fake Michigan license on the wall. And then he had like billboard and everything. But, and he was telling people that it was an actual license. So we just tell everybody, unless it's an actual studio, studio, like there's many of them in Holland, they're listed. You can look them up on the thing and it'll list which ones are actual studios. But, true. Yeah, because I, I wonder about stuff like that too, about uh, people that actually gone to, like, I mean, I don't know, do you actually, is there a school for that? Do you actually, actually it's actually school? what you do as an apprentice, apprenticeship. Oh, okay. Like, like, kind of like a, what, what Where you train under, train yeah. at actual hospitals and stuff. I mean, not really train at a hospital, but it, it's more you train, train at a shop. Recommend right. the shop. Yeah, because I'm, I mean, but where would you do that? Would you just go in and, like, you're applying for a job? Or is it just you, you get picked, or how does that work? Uh, pretty much, um, if you have, like, a couple of drawings, just keep it kind of neat, organized, um, it helps. And, um, Really, you gotta sit down, read a contract, make sure it's good for you. You know, there's no design because you can get in a shop. Always look. So do your homework first. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, that's still running great. It's recording awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to make sure I can push down. Yeah, right. So yeah, I uh, one thing I did forget to do. Uh, our sponsors, uh, Pure West Compassion Club, located at 9730 Adam Street. And we also got Southside Cuts, located at 114 West 16th Street. They are hiring. They are looking for at least three more barbers. 
So if you're looking to get into a shop, get a hold of Moyo at 616-836-7502. Again, he is hiring some barbers. Looks like I got some on my list. Do I have some on my list? <laughs> anyway, he is looking for a barber, so get a hold of him. It really does look like Is this shiny? <laughs> anyway, get a hold of him, 616-836-7502. Uh, again, they're located at 114 West 16th Street. Southside Cuts. All right. All right, so again, you want to talk a little bit again about your uh, backpack thing real quick for people that didn't, didn't see it? So we are doing it. So actually, I didn't mention that before, but it, we are going to have the final day of taking donations and everything. Is going to be August 17th. So then we can get the contact. Well, we have a couple of teachers we're in contact with to get these donated to. Um, so again, it's if you donate $150 in the backpack, you would get the $100 voucher. And then if you donate the backpack with $100 supplies, you would get the $75 voucher. And then with $75 in school supplies in the backpack, you would get the $50. And then with the fifty dollars of supplies in the backpack, you would get a twenty dollar voucher. And we do have it where some people were asking on our page if we donate multiple backpacks filled with stuff, do we get another voucher? We're gonna give a voucher for every backpack and however many supplies are in it. So it's not just limited to just one or two. That's a good idea. So we just wanna help all the kids. I mean, this was a last minute kind of throw together. JR had the idea after talking to some clients, so there was a need and he always wants to help out where there's a need or wherever he can help out. We like to help out. So He's a helping guy right here, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> he helps you out, guys. Go ahead and donate some backpacks. You guys, get some, you're gonna get a good deal out of it. For one, you're gonna be helping the kids. Two, you get a tattoo uh, voucher uh, with some good discounts on that. So. If you got some stuff lying around that that you bought last year, and people can still use it. I mean, if you want to buy brand new stuff, you better do that too. I mean, they can even use it on our mystery tattoo machine, our mm -hmm. new game, the Lucky Spin, which is the piercing game that we put in there. Yes, I forgot about that. So they do have that game in there, everybody. It's on the counter. Uh -huh. Go in there, spin it. You can get some. Uh, actually, do. You, what kind of stuff? Yeah. So uh, there's everything from like the industrial to lip piercings to mm -hmm. nose piercings. I mean, we do require 18 or older on that one only because of there's certain stuff on there that is an 18 and older piercing. So. All right. Sweet. But, oh yeah, that's right. That was it. And then our lucky our mystery tattoo machine is. I mean, it's loaded with over 250 tattoo designs in there. So. There you go, everybody. Yeah. yeah. <coughs> You'd be happy with it, regardless. I mean, we try to get people to go past one spin on the mystery tattoos, and for some reason, we just can't get past that first spin or that first turn. So. I'm a, wait. On the mystery oh, tattoos. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So, has, has any, how many people actually want it? Want Shit, they won every time. Yeah, the mystery tattoos, it's whatever, it's like a gumball, the gumball machine, oh, but, okay. so whatever is in that little oh, capsule, yeah. that's what you get. We try to get people to go past that first, like, turn, they don't. But they don't. Yeah. So far, nobody's gone. And we've done over, almost a hundred on there, and oh, nobody's gone past that first thing. We've got three more comments. Let's see what everybody's saying. They're talking about bras and I'll wear my. <laughs> what the freak are you guys talking about? Let me catch up. Um, something about I'll wear my bra when I chug a beer faster than you. <laughs> oh, that's Adam and Elias going at it. Um, you guys are hilarious. Hey, what up, Alejandro? Alejandro. Sorry, that's my. That, why is it going up? I'm pushing down. There it goes. <laughs> All right. So, I'm not going to read the other one. It's, it's, it's called a mirror. I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> All right, guys. You guys are awesome. Henry Ford, what's up? Dan Doet, what's up? Thanks for joining. We got Julio, Angelo, <clears throat> excuse me, and Miguel. Thanks for tuning in. I'm doing the podcast like this tonight, but I'm also recording it. 
uh, because I got blocked on Facebook, which is weird because I can still do live on my phone. Don't tell anybody. Uh, because it ever probably blocked me on this channel. But uh, we do appreciate you guys joining us. How long have we been on here? Oh, we got 10 more minutes. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, uh, anything else you guys want to talk about that you guys got coming up with the studio or with your shop? Um, I mean, his bookings are getting. We always tell everybody make sure you get your when you book book on our website, get your bookings in. I mean, with him being the only artist right now, we are looking to hire two artists, two tattoo artists, to fill our two booths. So we're still in our, I mean, we've had a couple people come in and check out the studio. But I mean, we do have that, like how you guys have a black girl studio. We have to have the perfect fit. Not like not some random person. Well, not only that, but like oh, yeah, you have yeah, people yeah. that feel like they can do their own thing and not have to keep asking questions. Well, and not only that, doing. but like we have one artist that was with us for a year, but he decided he wanted to tattoo at a house and then <coughs> the studio, and then use our name. Mm. Well, there was our oh, licensing yeah. and everything, so yeah. it just it just didn't work out. Yeah, that's true. So, I mean, I get that's pretty much the same as like basically. Yeah. What we're or we've had artists that come in and then they don't want to put in the work. They don't want to do nothing. They want everything. Give and talk. Yeah. I can't breastfeed. I ain't got no breasts. Yeah. Uh, Tracy says hello. Hi, Tracy. Tracy, they said hello. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so it's, it's, oh, I thought I switched cameras. So, yeah, they're uh, pretty good. I mean, like I said, they're hiring at least two more, two more uh, artists that are willing to put in the work and do do the job, work with them. I mean, and just put their name out there as well because their name deserves it. They're perfect spot. I mean, it's a it's a good studio. Is it called? A it's a tattoo studio. We we yeah. call it a studio. We didn't want to, like the tattoo parlor type thing. Oh, we yeah. wanted a different vibe to it yeah. wanted a different like more of a chill like relaxing and everybody that comes in they like even Angela um she's coming she got her oh, memorial yeah. tattoos and mm -hmm. everybody that comes in they say they feel like they're family like they become like part of our family exactly. like even you guys when you guys came in yeah. I mean we want to treat everybody with respect so that's why we ask for the same in, our, in return I mean and a lot of our clients enjoy that we do the JR when we first opened our doors we started a birthday book so like in our birthday book for your birthday you, as long as you're in our book and you give us a phone number or email we're able to send you a discount for your birthday <coughs> that's good for 30 days so a lot of people sign up for that they like that they like the different things that we play like the mystery tattoo game the new lucky spin game yeah um but i mean and then of course junior has everybody cracking up and not wanting to leave but <laughs> you know, not my fault. Yeah, like I said, they very talented guy right here. This one that I'm pointing at right here, not the poster behind him. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, he's really good at what he does. He's got the skills. He's got the tools. Get in there and get a tattoo. A piercing, he, whatever it is. That and you he want. likes to take it. The biggest thing with Jr. is well, not he time. likes his he'll actually take the time to sit down and have a consultation with you and he makes sure that what tattoo you are getting is exactly how you want it and then when he goes to tattoo it he will even tell you hey look this is the time that it's going to take and i would prefer to take my time on it to make sure it's the, the, like perfect like the one today like the guy was like well how long do you think it's going to take and it took probably four or five hours yeah, to do a cover of tattoo oh. but i mean it's just to make sure that everything is covered in like different things. So he does everything from cover up tattoos to like personal like Angela's memorial tattoos. And that's oh. another thing with the memorial tattoos. A lot of people are doing like the um That was the substantial of it. Let me zoom in on that room. So like the memorial tattoos, a lot of people want the hair. That's, right. that's cool. What is that? Uh octopus and, and um and, and at the bottom it has skulls. So it, it was a cover up of what he had done. 
Oh, uh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, hold on, my legs are. Pick it up a little bit. Oh, right there. Oh, that's freaking cool. I like that color. Is it staying that color? No. It's a stencil. No. It's a stencil. Oh, that's pretty nice just being like that. <laughs> that looks pretty cool. Me you on your face. Nah. <laughs> but I mean, it's just all about making sure that the client gets exactly what they want. Yeah. It's not yeah. just telling a client, hey, this is what you're going to get. It's actually like taking the time to listen to the client and just. You got to listen to uh, the client. They are located at 665. Six, six, Six six five. Six, I know. Douglas Avenue. Six sixty five <laughs> Douglas Avenue. They're right behind uh, the auto shop that's on the corner. Mm -hmm. They're right behind there on the other side by the uh, basically where we used to be. So I mean, a right, lot of people know it as yeah. it was West Shore Premiums or whatever the okay. CBD store. They oh, took over yeah. that location. Okay, well, you know where Diamond in the Rough is on the corner. They're all the way on the other. They're on the other side. Uh, towards the towards the shop, behind the shop, but is there so a, behind Black River Studios, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're behind Black River. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Medication's <laughs> <laughs> wearing off, buddy. <laughs> anyway, so uh, oh my gosh, did you? Okay, Elias, he said yes. I'll pay if you get the nips piercing. <laughs> Oh, what's your hourly rate? Somebody's asking. What do you mean hourly rate? So like because because some places. So because right now we just changed it oh, to wait, the no, sizing. Per so price, it goes or per size. Yeah. yeah. So the only way <laughs> the only the only way that it changes no. is if like it goes past the quarter sleeve in the oh, okay. sizing, then it heals it down. And then a lot of people at that point they opt to go the tap out right, like for the op, like half day or full day. What up, Pat? What up, Matt? What's up, ladies? How y'all doing? <laughs> Jamie, Karen, Esther, Naomi, Sylvia. I didn't try to do that. I was. <laughs> I was even trying. Okay, so uh, oh my gosh, Adam asked if I'm paying if you got his next done. Hell yeah, I will got I gotta see this. Thanks, Elias. You guys are such dorks. <laughs> but thanks for watching though. Uh, <clears throat> whoops, what did I do with this? Why is oh it's showing me now. Hey, we got Angelo on, we got Tracy. I don't know who that is. I got Google Theater on mine. The the pictures are small but I can see. Don't even go there. <laughs> How come every time I use the word small, you start laughing? Okay. Yeah, no comment. Oh, yeah, no comment. We're right. So, hey, Tracy, you want to film in this one? <laughs> You're stupid. Uh, anyway. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think you guys, you guys got a good spot uh, where, you know, there's... We're trying to clear the air, trying to, you know, help them get their customers back in order because of the bull crap that happened. What was that? How, how long ago was that? Um, well, it's the not, lies that happened is what we should say. Well, I mean, the just a bad name in this area it happened probably like two years ago with the first thing with the break in. Yeah. And then we had the wrong massage. <laughs> and then we had yeah. the shooting. The, which we still get. We still get people in here thinking Wong Massage is still here. You're not, they're not here anymore. I mean, but if you want, no. Mm -hmm. I'll, but you know what? Okay, <laughs> just in the couple of months, or the, the month that we've been here, yeah. we had three visitors. Yeah. One was the owner that used to be the Wong Massage. Yes, she came in. Very flirtatious. She came in here and lied to us. <laughs> she, she literally lied. lied to us. What? She said she had nothing to do with it. Okay, so you. But then, why would you talk about it then? Why would you bring it up? I don't she know. says she missed the place and she wanted to see. She wanted to see, but then I said, "Well, you know, I can give you a, a tour of the building of what we've done, the reconstruction, blah blah blah." She put her head down and just went, "No, I okay. I go back to Muskegon." <laughs> so she's in Muskegon. If anybody was looking, that for sounds the just like her too. 
<laughs> um, and then we had a, oh, yeah, they can go out there. We had a Eagle College gentleman that came in and said, just he literally just walked in up to the counter and he's like, I want to make an appointment for the Wong massage. I'm like, this isn't the Wong massage. And he's like, oh, well, I'm a, what do you, what do you call it? Like a regular customer. Yeah. He was like, probably like, an, uh, oh, pretty much that. Yeah. Regular customer. <laughs> and then we, had some, then we had some Mexican guy just walk in. Looked around, saw Black River Studios, and walked right, and right, walked right back out. <laughs> it's funny because uh, this area, like you said, has a bad name. Of but the, it was here, though. But, but what the biggest thing now. was is that every time it, anything was on the news, mm-hmm. it flashed the Miller Inc. That our, show front, us. our front sign, and then it showed our street sign out on the road. So, so you want to clear the air on that then? So none of that was us. For First off, we have... Since we've been here in 2019, I mean, we had all eyes on us just because of the area that it is. They watched us. We built their reputation with our clients. Mm-hmm. I mean, through all that stuff and all the BS that happened in here, we did lose a lot of... Uh, we you lost, can swear if you want. We don't uh, a lot of... No, but what I'm saying, but we lost quite a few clients because they were like, well, if this stuff is going on in here, then what... It's not you, but then, like, even the shooting happened in... On the news broadcast, they said a black man with dreads. Well, the owner. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it went straight to the movie said that. No. Well, well, straight to the camera. camera. Yeah. Well, right to me. I yeah. understand. But it was exactly, like. Exactly. It was like, and then our clients, and then like our family and friends were like, hey, your, your stuff is blasted all over the news again. So it's like we, every time it seemed like we were getting the smack for other people's. Yeah. Bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. See, and that's the thing is, like, what well, I guess you said, you should tell them you got the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> you got the wrong idea. You can... We tried that. Yeah. It didn't work too well. Yes. Yeah. But yeah, so to to gain everybody's uh, uh, business back into this area is. The the wrong the wrong businesses are here, <laughs> and the right ones are here. We got Miller Inc. Tattoo, who's been there for how many years? You said since 2019. 2019, and they lost clients because of that situation that they had nothing to do with. Mm-hmm. Um, so, anybody that's looking for a tattoo, go to Miller Inc. Tattoo. Again, 665 Douglas Avenue. Facing, uh, what road is it? 144. 144. But uh, good people, again, they had nothing to do with that. Their business was just caught in the middle of it. Um, so get a hold of that. What's your phone number, actually? Let me say what you guys Because I forgot. To- uh, 616-377-7220. Give them a call or stop by. Uh, let them know that, hey, you know what? I don't care about the past. Let's start a new future. New client future, uh, they'll, they'll get you a good deal. They'll get you a good tattoo, making you look good. I mean, we even make all our shirts and everything. Oh, yeah. We just right. done it in shop now, yeah. now that we have Pins. the girl. Pins. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Them oh, yeah. Do that again. Chris. What about your keychains? Do you have anything? Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I can see that. The picture that you have. Okay. Why does one keep saying slow connection? I'm bad. I'm tired. I'm, I'm upset. <laughs> wow. He's got issues today. I don't. I don't. I just. Uh, I need a drink. No, no. What else, Tom? So then I get some more. So, oh, what about? Thanks she does have Selena shoes as well. Yep. And then I have the keychains to match. Oh, those are cool. So I mean, Miss T and does those. Even though Miss T gets hate, but you know what? Whoever did that, you need to be ashamed of yourself. I mean, she's three. You don't, get, you don't get mad at an a, a innocent person that's trying to sell hats and jewelry. She's three years old. Yeah, leave her alone. I know, but she got a hater. They told us that we shouldn't have her on our anything. <laughs> well, to do they're with her. Wow. But but like they said that you have a child advertising for your business. But but at the end of the day. I hate to say this, but I hate to say this, at the end of the day, 
those nieces and nephews, my nieces and nephews, mm -hmm. they've been a part of the shop and Junior's tattoo, like growing in the city since we started and moved here. Mm -hmm. So they are all have their, their he taught them all how to hustle. You have They're to learn how to do things. There's no, there's no free ride in this. Yeah. It's everybody has to do their part. Everybody has to do something, make that money, <laughs> whether they like take it. Trying to, like her mom wanted to work on motor skills and doing things. So part of motor skills and building motor <coughs> skills and everything is you learn how to put things together. <laughs> well, yep. Tegan likes to do craft wise. All the kids have to like to do craft wise. Yep. Reefs, the kid, older kids did it. Now they're grown teenagers doing their own thing. So, I just made sure that's still recording. Great. You know, I got to read a lot of as my audio. So, uh, <clears throat> let's see, how many minutes we got left here? Whoops, hold on. Dang, we're at 36 minutes, everybody. We want to, <laughs> we want to thank Miller Inc. because they, you know, they took the time out of their lives and their busy schedule to come on the show. We do appreciate them very much. We really do. We really love you guys. You guys are awesome. Really we love you guys. We're glad that we had somebody come in. I mean, the landlord asked us if, how we felt about you guys, and we were like, from when our meeting, when we guys came and checked out the studio before we moved out, mm -hmm. we liked the vibe, and it met, like the vibe that everybody's trying to get over here, it, it matched with that. Yeah, we didn't exactly. want somebody trying to be like knuckleheads, thinking they, they own We, we dealt with any of that. And it's, it's just not, it's, at the end of the day, it's not worth it to be a knucklehead and to be like, well, F you, F this, F this. Yeah. Why, why are you going to do that? Because then you're going to cause a conflict. Exactly. And then the conflict comes to chaos and yep. it's exactly. not worth it. And I, and I feel that everybody here with both, basically anybody that's here, we got Matt Bates, we got, um, what was the end of the one, and then we got the audio. No, what was the name of her business? Isn't it Hidden Treasures? Hidden Treasures. Hidden Treasures. We got Diamond in the Rough. Mm -hmm. Miller Inc. Tattoo and Mike's, Mike's, Mike's Treasures. Mike's Crafts. Mike's Crafts. Mike's Crafts. Yeah. Uh, and and you know, Kate's Party Store. And Kate's Party, Party Store and the Automotive Gorman's. Platinum. Oh, what is it called? Is it Platinum? Did they choose? No, it's Gorman's or something like that. No. It's Old Gorman's. Old Gorman's. Something like that. So we got them, and everybody, everybody uh, I feel, is their, their businesses and they're, they're trying to run their business. We're not trying to cause trouble. Nobody else is. And that's what we want here is people that are here to run a business. And that's pretty much it. We want mm -hmm. peace and quiet while we all run our businesses. <laughs> Shut up, Marcos. <laughs> <laughs> See, now you got Miller. <laughs> now you got Junior over here laughing. That was the first sound I heard from him. <laughs> are you? Oh, why was I thinking you were using that? Because I was going to use it, but I didn't use it. wasn't even plugged in. So, definitely, uh, this area's uh, gotten better from what I, from the history of what I heard about it. My camera's dirty. <laughs> oh, that looks way better. Dang, I'm even hotter. <laughs> anyway, so, you know what? And Boyle hooked me up with the haircut again. Thank you. Again, Boyle is hiring at Southside Cuts. He needs three more barbers. Get a hold of him, 616-836-7502. And uh, if you're looking for a spot, get a hold of him. If you're friends with him on Messenger or whatever, or Facebook. So, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, oh, uh, Peter West Pet. <laughs> You know, let's go past you, bro. Sorry. <laughs> you remember that part on uh, <laughs> Don't Be a Menace? Mm -hmm. Was it Don't Be a Menace? The church scene? They said, yes. No. Something about the collection plate. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't know. What did you give him? I didn't give him Hold Tinder, on. what did you give him? So let me clean this one out first. Because I just need that tea. <laughs> so we went to 7 Eleven, and this is what we bought. Or this is what I bought. Mm hmm. Uh, you went to a couple of sips. And you got 340 something. Oh, 340 calories. Holy crap. Look how much sugar's in this thing. That's why he's so wired. 
I didn't. Actually, I haven't even been drinking that much. Um, uh, sorry, but <coughs> uh, go to McDonald's and have sweet tea over there. Oh shit, that's right. No. Oh my god. So, uh, welcome to the show. <laughs> But, uh, these folks are right. uh-huh. What? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, one more time on the backpack. Back to school backpack. Uh-huh. <laughs> I can't talk. Oh my God. Are you all right? Oh, hold on. Let me zoom in. Too much sugar. <laughs> Actually, I'll just hold all right, so for our backpack drive, we're collecting backpacks and school supplies. So, and we're gonna run that until August seventeenth will be the last day. So, for fifty dollars in a backpack, you would get a twenty dollar voucher. For a backpack with seventy five, you would get the fifty dollar voucher. With a backpack with a hundred, it would be seventy five dollar voucher. <coughs> and then a backpack with one hundred fifty dollars in school supplies would get you one hundred dollar voucher. And that's good on anything in the shop. So I think I got about 150 bucks. But uh, and then the other thing is because we were discussing it, people wanted to bring in more more than one backpack with the supplies. So we're gonna give a voucher for every backpack in that amount. So it's not just limited to one. Then that's can, awesome. I mean, because then we can help out more kids that way too. Well, did you not say the West Ottawa schools called? I can't say yeah. which one. I was gonna say West Ottawa district. Wow. Called said that they needed help with backpacks for the kids. Yep. Ooh, that's awesome. That's so we did. Yeah, we had a couple teachers. My sister had a teacher talk to her because her kids go to a school in West Iowa too. So we're gonna get them donated to a school in West Iowa or a teacher. So. Oh, that's and then cool. they can in West Iowa district. district. Yep, in West Iowa. All right, there you go. You heard it, everybody. Uh, any backpack, anything you guys donate, anything you bring in, will be donated to. You said school of choice? Uh, well, it's going to go like in West Iowa District School. So depending on whatever teacher oh, like, it okay. confirms that they can take them into their school district. So oh, well, okay. it's their school. So. All right, sweet. So go ahead, get that backpack full of items. The seventy, what is it, twenty dollars and above? So there's like there's right, four different. Oh, she's so funny. Fifty dollars and above. Uh, $75 up and above. Come on, Jim. Uh, you get a 50 tab. Oh, 50 tab. You get 50 tabs. You get, and then $100 worth, you get, okay, camera. $100 worth, you get a $75 piercing. Tattoo or piercing, actually. So let's look at this. Look at that. Check that out. Look at those. That is freaking awesome. And then even on there. Our Facebook page, because we did have people that were out of state and out of town, like I said earlier, we did create links. So on our square, you can check out right on there. You can click the link for whatever one, and you can click on it, and you can check out right there on the page. So, I mean, there were a lot, there were like, um, one of our friends, he's got a biker group that he rides with, and they were like, well, we really don't need the voucher. The voucher don't mean nothing, but we want to be able to help. So... Is there a way you can create a link? Or we even have a cash app for the shop set up just for this if people want to donate that way. Okay. We still will give them a voucher or whatever. But I mean, like the biker group, they're like, it's all about for the kids. And, yeah. and, and right. Uh, but this was a kind of a last minute thing thrown together. I had to come to Marcos because Mr. JR was like, well, talking to some of his clients and they talk about the kids in need and there's families that are going without and it's a big struggle so he was like well let's do a backpack drive and i'm like okay speaking of the end of the photo she just joined in what a, oh, oh. No, my, uh, the end of the photo oh i did see her name earlier sorry i thought i, I thought i said it but i probably did you know what i just realized yeah i know that's for the kids not recognition yeah so i don't care about any of that shit so everybody, you know, we work long hours, we do long days, mm-hmm. and you know, we we do get tired. And this guy just drinks too much sugar. Yeah. <laughs> he works a <laughs> five hour tattoo. She works all day, plus does the tattooing and Michelle crafts. Myself, I'm just always going. I'm just myself. <laughs> <laughs> sugar. 
Uh, too so, much sugar. Yeah, too much sugar. Uh, Tracy, I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Just say yes, honey. Yes, babe. I'm sorry, honey. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> the conversation I heard earlier. Oh. No, so, no, no. No, no. no. Okay. <laughs> so what Tracy did, look. So we do have this picture. <laughs> 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 No, but uh, sorry. Yeah, I mean, you guys got a good, you guys got a good thing going on. Hey, uh, we brought you on so you guys could share that, mm-hmm. uh, get that out in the open, is a little bit more across a different board. Uh, but I mean, it's it's a good idea. It's a pretty good, pretty good uh, thing for the students that, for especially for parents that uh, can't afford some stuff this year. So if you have a student that cannot or that you can't afford uh, school supplies for. This is an opportunity to, if you go to what, you said West Ottawa Public Schools. Yeah, I live West Ottawa. West Ottawa Public Schools. Um, find out. Once we get what's... the final details on what teachers going to be able to take on, we will let everybody know. Okay. Especially if they're West Ottawa. Okay. Well, you, hear, you heard it here, everybody. Uh, she, they will mention what school and what teacher is going to be having them. Um, as soon as they they get the final details on that, and uh, we'll go from there. Well, we do appreciate you guys being on tonight. Uh, we got Miller Ink Tattoo in the house, everybody. They're located. <laughs> <laughs> They're located at 665 Douglas Avenue, right around the corner from us. Pretty much right behind us. We got we share a door almost, pretty much. Uh, if we knock on the wall, we get in that door. Oh, yeah, we probably do. Well, we got the door. We can just walk right through it. That's true, actually. Wait a minute. <coughs> yeah. If we, oh, that door you can talk about. Okay. Was that your guys' door? Mm-hmm. We, thought, we were wondering about that. Yeah, that's their door. They're yeah, it's in my studio. studio. Yeah. Not in my studio, right but I blocked it off. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, so that is their door. <laughs> no, but uh, wow. we do appreciate uh, Junior and Shelby and uh, tonight. We thank you. Uh, again, if you got that student or you want to donate, they got a good deal. Even on our Facebook page, on the Miller Inc. page, we do have the links for those two. Yeah. For each God, boy, let me show them. I'm just kidding. Wow. I'm just kidding. Huh? I was, you already did. What are you laughing at? Why does he got that look on his face? <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining in. Why looks like it. he's going to throw his phone at me. Wow. Let's get closer. Marcos. Hey, at least he didn't call your alter ego. Oh, excuse me, right. Starlito. Oh, oh. It's Starlito. No, oh, it's Starlito oh, coming out today. Oh, that's right. I'm sorry. He's not out today. Yeah. He hasn't been out in a month or two. Yeah. So when is Starlito coming? Uh, when he feels better. That's true. Yeah, when I feel better. Um, okay. Give me another month or so. I'll be good. I mean, All I right. mean, we had this good conversation month. today. He goes, his clients, a lot of them that have known us like for a long time, and they don't got to know both of us. They're like, usually when I go live on things, they're like, oh, <laughs> Mama Bear's out. <laughs> Watch out, listen, no. Oh, that's but I'm like, I'm the one that does more of the behind the scenes and like making sure that everything goes smoothly yes. so that he can go back there, tattoo, work. Work. Yeah. I deal with like the health department, the state, all that aspect, just so JR yeah. can take that time with the clients and alleviate that part for him. Yes. So, yes. but yeah, when his clients want to go live and I have to address some things, they go, Ooh. All right, babe. So you heard it live. Um, we need you here. Yeah. Come on, Tracy. You be you be mama bitch. Yes, exactly. There you go. Tracy, you heard it live. <laughs> That's his sign that he's ready to go. That is my sign. Yeah. I'm not ready to go. It looks like what? we got. Well, you know what? If you want to go for another, wow, that's eleven minutes. You got eleven minutes. <laughs> Thank y'all for the cookout. Oh, well, thank you for everybody that came out for our cookout. Yes, we had two right. in the last couple of weeks. Thank you for everybody that came out. Food was delicious. I mean, we want to thank um, Southside Cooks 
Yeah. And then they all came out, the first one, and then we had all of the... What do you the, artist, the artist. The artist came Legacy out, the first one. I mean, I, I asked Marcos if I could approach the artist and everybody of Black River to help share this with the backpacks mm -hmm. to get more attention out there. Any attention we can get is always good attention. Yeah. And the more we can get donated, the more these families don't have to worry about some exactly. like, homeless thing. Amen. And uh, Moyo was watching, so let's go ahead and, and, and talk about Southside Cuts. I, oh, I'm not, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I keep forgetting to hit the button. <laughs> Southside Cuts, again, they are looking for three barbers. They got spots open. They are hiring. Go ahead and get a hold of Moyo. 616-836-7502. They're located at 114 West 16th Street. Uh, they're looking to rent a spot, $100 per spot, cheapest in town. Get a hold of it. 616 8, or, yeah, 836 7502. Sorry, I always do that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, they're located at. Dang it, I switched it again. <laughs> uh, my finger hit down. What are you doing? <laughs> Let your, your finger hit it. <laughs> <laughs> Let your finger hit it. <laughs> All right, so we're getting this camera so freaking makes me look good looking. Look at this. Sorry, Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys got me. <sighs> Tracy said I need some sleep. Yeah, it's not what you said earlier. <laughs> I heard you all the way across the room. Yeah, I know. Wait, oh. Here's your top there. Hey, Gus. Oh, that's right. They're going to be at the mural festival. Wait, man. Oh, hold on a minute. Grupo Fierro. Uh, Grupo Fierro. Uh, <laughs> what did you just say? Grupo Fierro. <laughs> I still say it. Is that how you say it? No. Grupo Fierro. How do you Group say? Of Fierro. That's what I said. No, you didn't. Group of Fierro. No. <laughs> <laughs> that was the weakest I've heard. That was life. the weakest I've heard. <laughs> really, babe, you put makeup up in sleep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Tracy. 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 Look, he almost matches the shirt. Oh my gosh! I'm not ready. Who cares? I mean, we're husband and wife. What do you expect? Why is he branch the table, though? Let me go. Let me go. All right, so that, uh, <laughs> He said, Fierro, you bastard. <laughs> uh, am I blushing? Yes. Am I really? Yes. Here, let me pour some water on me. <laughs> no, but uh, I can't believe you put make love and sleep on the Facebook. <laughs> so, Theodore, so, when are you going to be joining us so we can put you on podcast? And we're not going to be talking about making love and sleep. Hmm? Did I just quiet the room? Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize. Ben has been on a cup of sugar for the past uh, hour. I did get a nice haircut today, though. Look at that. Check that. Check my hair out. Sorry, Tracy. Sorry, Tracy. Can you see the back of my head? <laughs> There's a tail. <laughs> oh. Can you see the back of my head? Yeah. <laughs> Here, let's go. Sure. <laughs> Can you see my head? Oh, look at it. Look at it. Oh, you... <laughs> no? What is it? Look at that. Jeez. Oh. How do you do this? Look, people, there's his head. Look, there it is. There's his head. Oh, I was almost pushing to that. So did she. Oh, uh, okay, so September. <laughs> Seriously? So he's going to be in Muskegon and at the Mule Festival. The Walt Mule Festival, September 7th. Uh, Elise, what time are you going to be at? Oh, you already said. Don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, a couple shots or two. <laughs> uh, he's going to be in the from 4 to 6 and in Holland from 8 to 9.30. Check it out. 
Drew Bro Fierro. <laughs> Why does he keep saying it right? Because you know the weird thing is, is I said it right a while ago, but for some reason I. <laughs> I is it the sugar high? I think so. He wears about a buck fifteen, and he's got a couple sugars sitting inside of him. <laughs> <laughs> I did well, I, I, like, uh, Thank you very much. I I'm just gonna say, do you really think he is one hundred fifty? No, I am. The last time I weighed myself, I was like one hundred and forty-seven, and that was when I was naked. <laughs> well, what else are you gonna? You're not wear, You're not supposed to wear your clothes. That's why at the hospital they don't give you. Sorry, crazy. Dude. Why would you? I was just there. I was just there, and they, they weighed me with my clothes on and my shoes. That's not the correct weight, though. But you take three pounds off. That's well, then I don't have to do that. <laughs> I just sorry, know. Tracy. <laughs> Give me your <laughs> Look what I'm used to. So that love making. Did <laughs> <laughs> you want to say that loud? Stop by McDonald's. Where's Rock, you people? Uh, all right, well, we're going to go ahead and log off because this totally went in a different direction. And would you yes, guys and this is totally different from being regular Ben. I know, what is up with it? Ben is just a total different person today. And he's, he's different too. Even in the traffic, yeah, yeah he's quiet like, today. Here, I know, this is not him. About? He's quiet today, this boy's hyped up today. And, I, it's like and the opposite. Yeah, and in, in traffic, it was totally different <laughs> because he wasn't really screaming or yelling. Wow. But the aggressiveness to how he was driving made up the difference. It's true. I am an ass. No, it was Wait, just... Wait, you got that on the record. I did. <laughs> it's true because I thought to myself, why yell when I can do it in my head? Did uh, you not? <laughs> I don't know what that means. No, Wait, just, Marcos, were you safe in the car? <laughs> I was in the car seat. <laughs> I had two seat belts. Yeah. What are you eating on that? Apples? Eating? Mm -hmm. uh, no, that's more sugar. How is there sugar in apples? Did he literally? He totally missed science class. <laughs> is there? Oh, because it's not. It's not a natural apple. There's 14 grams of sugar. Holy crap! I'm not lying. Elliot said stop by McDonald's too. <laughs> 14 grams of sugar. Dietary is 3 grams. Carbohydrates is 20 grams. That's weird. Oh. Look at all that. Matt Navarro. We got Tim Molina. Who's hitting me? Tim Molina. What's going on, everybody? Let me see this. Let's look at this. What'd you get here? I don't know. They were in the department. Oh, that's fresh. Oh. So you're it's fresh. That expires. Fresh fruit. No, it's fresh fruit. Why do you look at it like that? Why are you saying you're trying to do it? This expired last month. <laughs> How are you eating expired fruit? And then some of it's brown. It did expire. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and call it tonight so I can uh, edit this he video. He's got a judgy face, though. Yeah, what up, Wait, I'm, I'm saying it. <laughs> they're flip flop today. Yeah. This one's all talkative and wired. This one's quiet. This guy's usually talkative and this guy's usually quiet. That's very true. Yeah. This... Well, hopping. And me and you are the ones with the facial expressions. Mm -hmm. yeah. I always got facial expressions. I can't get rid of that. No, but I'm just saying with these two. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. That's true. You know what? Well, he's not full of sugar and he did a five hour job, so. Oh, yeah. I'm exhausted. You might want to clarify what kind of job. <laughs> Longer than 30 seconds. Oh, man. <laughs> I don't get it. Are you trying to say that I can't last longer than 30 seconds? Oh, yeah. no. I didn't say it. Man, you're digging your hole deeper, brother. <laughs> okay, I'm going to shut up. I um, want to thank everybody right. for joining in. Yes. This and, then, and again, this is the Ben Herrera show. We talk about whatever the hell we please. And don't forget these vouchers. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna let them go home because he does look very he, he's exhausted. He's very exhausted. We respect his job and Michelle. We respect both of you. you and guys we respect awesome. you guys. And we appreciate uh, all the support we get from you guys. I mean, yeah, we're. I mean, that's oh, there's your team. We're back in school. 
<laughs> he wants to say something, but he doesn't want to. I'm, I was going to say. But <laughs> <laughs> well, this, well, this is our Bible, Black River and Miller and Michelle. Yeah, this, so our, this, our, this is our Bible. This, this is our Bible. Every day. Every day. Yeah, pretty much. We We're just sitting over there. They're sitting over here. Yeah, we pretty much chat. We'll chat till 4 o'clock in the morning if we have to. We did that one time. Oh, oh yeah, we did. We did till 3.30. Oh, that reminds me. For your prayer normal thing. Oh, we got a new video for you. It happened the other night. Oh, and just so you know, we did go to Matt Bates. Oh, there's no door over there's there. There's no door. There's nothing over door. there on that wall. Are you serious? I'm serious. There's nothing there, there's but he has thing in there. a bunch of lures. There's a closet. Oh, yeah, because it is a whole wall of lures. It's a wall yeah. of lures. Yeah. So but, tell me why they were scratching and knocking and all that shit on that door, on that wall. But there is a door there, but they have it blocked off with a shelf, so you can't even get to it. So how did anybody get in there? But he said... The damn ghosts. He said that there was... Uh, a bathroom on the other side, but nobody was in there at the time. Not in the not between one and three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> no, we had another like flicker on and off in a different area. Cool. I want to see that video. Yes, in the thought that we're talking. But you got something for us? Ghost tools? I think ghost tools. Oh, and uh, our computer's broken, as you can see, it's gone. The end of the oh, yeah. Come on, talk to me. It's going to get fixed. Oh, yes, so we're talking about building. Huh. You are getting it fixed. It's the processor, and he's going to put a, a new graphics card in. It doesn't have. It has an onboard graphics card. So you guys don't have to get a whole new one. Get rid of the dog. He's only charging me 140 to fix it. It's like, dang, that's good. Well, wow, that's good. It's already in June. Oh, yeah. You yell at this one, with there, Malcolm. The end of the dollar said, "Stuff is always moving at my shop." I thought I was going crazy. All right, we need to go through. You know what? It's just a Where are you at? We're gonna go see your shop. Open okay. your door. Is she there? I, I know. Are you there? Are you there Wait, right now? Is she the hidden treasures? Yeah. That's the one the media was talking about. Her building. That there's a portal oh, in there. Go a, there's a portal in your stuff. That, remember, I told you we had a medium. Yeah. Yeah, it used to be the Reiki tree. They opened a portal in her thing, is what the medium told us. Ooh, but it's stuck, it whatever it is, it's stuck in theirs. So the most activity uh, is going to be in their stuff. That is probably why that one kept going to our old studio and going backwards. Because it would stop at that pole and then go back. She said, oh, hell no. Um, no, I'm not, I'm not joking. The girl came in and she was actually... I told her I didn't want to hear that shit. We, she came in to get a tattoo, but she went to the Reiki train because as a medium... My phone's going light, dark, light, dark, light, dark. Oh, shit. Maybe. No, just keep going. Let me said, keep going. Uh, but, said, I got a lot to talk about with you for her. But, I mean, that's when the medium, she came in, she saw ours, but she saw she saw the figure, but we didn't, we didn't see it at the time. I was during the day. We didn't see it. But she was like, he's in here. He's, he's a more of a protective spirit. But she goes, that Reiki tree... They opened a portal and they did something that they shouldn't have opened. Ooh, they probably did Ouija boards on there. But they were so doing Ouija boards. Well, what she was saying is Reiki is a very particular thing. Spirit. If, if, but I mean, the way they practice Reiki and all the yeah. things that go with it. She said she used to know. But I mean, I don't know exactly what it was, but she said they did open a portal and it was not done correctly. And that was so, probably stuck open. So probably stuck open. Probably. And then they had a mix of different, like, when you're... Oh, just it. Oops, well, not really just... entities, but when you practice too many different types of things, Perhaps. and then you mix that together... Do you, you want to have a mad spirit? Yes. So she said she wouldn't... So that's the it. knocking and the scratching it heard on the wall. <laughs> he says, I don't want to go on the show... Marcos always has but yeah, I would just have her. Wait, what? Her episode. Marcos doesn't really. Marcos does the, the episode, but uh, I just stay quiet. No, but he sits over here, so at least you would have. To you see that? You hear that? That was them. That was them. But in that back room, somebody, nothing's behind there except lures. Somebody, but uh, it's on it just like that. Episode, uh, was talking to me. Uh, yeah, when I was doing the show by myself, I forgot where you guys were. We were out there. So he said he's been here before since we moved in. Mm-hmm. And he was, he was standing at the counter. And he saw somebody walking back there when everybody else, they were out. In here? Yeah. Yeah, he was in here. Uh, you yeah, know. 
but so the medium didn't go into full details, so I'm sorry for hidden treasures, but I didn't get the full details because this one told her to stop talking about it because he don't believe in it. So. But then he actually had an experience happen in there, and then he wanted to call her back, and she was like, you didn't want to hear me. So she wouldn't come back up. <laughs> so I blew my chance. But my, my suggestion is the one thing the medium did say for whoever rents that out eventually, you might want to get somebody in there to fully go through it and so dealer de todo with your permission I would like to sit in the darkness wait do they do here's my question I you don't know we nothing. all have cameras inside our studios and you guys have yours and yours do they have any cameras in there oh that that's night? a good question de todo, oh. do you have any cameras inside your store? Or if they can get like even like the blink cameras, they got the sense on there. We have a blink in ours, and we catch things like the other night. I don't oh, know. the the the, <clears throat> the horse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Actually, that's another one I gotta send you because the night when he came here, because all of a sudden he was at work, and then he came back past the, the shop. Lights, right? The lights are on. So every light was on in the shop. But the day you told me that told you to go back here and check your lights, everything was off, and then all of a sudden you said it was like flickering. Yeah, and then he went past after he got out of itty bitty working, and then they were all on, and we turned them all off when we left. That's crazy. So, and then as soon as he went to turn all the lights off, and I was watching on the camera, he clicked the the key, the orbs was like, like they were trying to hide. I was like, there you go. That's all right, nigga, coming in. Yeah. And then I, I heard the key change. Then, then I was like, I pulled up. So that one was by our merch, right in the front. Yeah. Then I pulled up the one that watches the, the back door. No, right the above bathroom. the coffee bar. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The bathroom. Yeah. So then you see this orb just go right across the sofa, like it was just chilling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so the end of the Dolo said we should convince her to come back. Okay. Yeah. So I mean, but there. now she has her own. Her own medium and crystal shop, so it's harder for her to travel now. So, well, if you have her number, I'm pretty sure she would like to get in there. <laughs> I would like to actually, you know what? You know, I, thought, uh, I would like to get in there just to sit, just to, just to do it, just to do an episode Even with it's cameras. Fair. I think they should set up cameras and watch what happens at night. Did she say she had cameras or not? I don't know. Do you, do you have cameras in there? I feel like I'm talking to a ghost. Do you have cameras in there? No, I'm just uh, asking because, like ours, a lot of the activity happens after. Oh, I get it. It starts at a certain time. Yeah. Would you not say that? And it does because at any any time after twelve a.m. We have it any time get, in the studio. You get knocks on the wall. You get a you get a shadow around two thirty three o'clock in the morning, and then you get scratches and and knocks on the door. Actually, I ran into the shadow in our in the old studio at like eight o'clock. At she night. said she did, but she sold them. Oh, well, that's what she does. She sells things. Yeah, right. but she should get cameras in there and watch what I happens. I got something I need to sell. No, just... <laughs> actually, I would suggest going getting cameras and put them actually, in and I, install them. Wait, never mind. Comcast doesn't service this area. So, you know that though, with your permission, again, I would like to get in there just to. I'd like is going in and out. If you can just let me go in there so I can. Um, you see my camera? You check out my camera? It's like going in and out, in and out. Mike keeps saying slow connection for some damn reason. Who's else, who else is using this? Is anybody in there? Okay. Yeah, there's... Well, don't put your camera on there, though. No, I'm not. Um, but yeah, I, would, I want to... With your permission, I want to sit in there. Just for one night. Just to sit there in the dark. With my camera. Are you here? Anybody? No, but with the... So with the Reiki tree, what it... What it, what it, what it was... Yes, yeah, so and I was building. No, but well, in the Reiki tree, there was an actual Reiki working in there. And she was an older lady. Well, she got hurt, and then her daughter took over. But I don't think she was properly trained from what we've been hearing. She was not properly yeah. trained. So, but the medium, as soon as she went up to that big window, she she ran the hell away from it. So, she said there was a portal open. I'm burping. Oh. I thought you were crying. Why are you crying? But I mean, I never went in there. I never. So, the end of the door. Okay. So, once again, all this is with your permission. store on that corner building. Yes. yes. But they say the most negative is, well, the negative part of it is in their studio. Okay. Or their little shop. 
because that's where the portal is open, but it's locked in that building. That's why she's saying the person that did it, opened it, was not practicing Reiki correctly. So. Elias said, the Roman Reiki is haunted as hell too. We used to go sit in there until like 3 a.m. when it was a grand roller rink. And it was wild. Ooh, maybe, you, you know, you always gotta be that ass. Look at this ass right here. Don't drop your ass. I don't care. Wait, wait, you know what the funniest thing is? We were at, where were we at? I think it was Menards. We were at least all the pop was on it. But anyway, we were in a store anyway, and we walked past this aisle, it was us, me and Junior, and then there was another older group, white guy. The, and all of a sudden, this thing flew off the shelf, went up and over. Him and the other dude were like, we out. They <laughs> dropped. Great. Now, freaking Menards. It was at Menards. And the shit just flew. We <laughs> looked at, I looked at him. He looked at me. I said, yeah, we out. They both, they both said everything up and down. Who put everything down? I said, I'll take it. That shit was way older. Older than the new one. The, the old one. The one is the on 24th. Yeah. Over, uh, so we went. We went in there, and I was like looking, and then all of a sudden she said, "So the fuck?" Yeah, yeah. I was like, "You saw that too?" <laughs> we both saw that. I, I was like, "Did y'all see that shit?" We <laughs> said everything down. <laughs> Gotta go. Oh, Gotta go. Man. That would be crazy to see. I was like, it's probably something that it was probably something like, and they were like, yeah, something through it. Um, no, oh, he didn't see what you said when you said, ooh, when you said about the grand old ring. There, oh, hell yes. You're so delayed. That done passed. <laughs> anyway, uh, well, I think all of that is on it because. It's filled with Isaac Apocos. This is all the places that I've been has been so crazy. There's uh, because I hear so much stories of the other people that uh, tell their stories or whatever, and it's it's all here. Huh? So <laughs> I know it's my What's going on? Hey, look, look, look. You get, you get, hold on, let me clear what? this. Oh. Her phone went off. So yeah, it's like, <clears throat> but look. Look, that's the little three-year-old. That's the little three-year-old that everybody's mad about that she's working. You know what? Leave her alone. She's Leave my TT. Leave my TT alone. Leave her alone. Hey, Miss TT was going to work on another painting for you guys. Oh, That'd be sweet. We got two of her paintings hanging up here, so. And we have them all for oh, our studio, too. Yeah, we're gonna, we, yeah, we need more decorate. To de put some here, too. I mean, but yeah, Mr. Bing still gets the mean mug. Hmm. Wait, Look. Wait, <laughs> wait, I mean... No! Oh. I said you still get the mean mug from this. Oh, <laughs> we have her around. I know. <clears throat> he's he's got. She's got to get used to. Like, I mean, other, Mr. Lou. Other people here. It's now Mr. Lou. He made it. He made it into that where her his name is in there now. Okay. Well, I guess I gotta give her what's her name. She can have someone like she. He don't get it. He don't get it. He don't. What do I gotta do? Well, with that many people, you gotta let her get to know you. Okay, spend time. Uh, next, she can sit right there and we'll talk to her about. Wait, if you really so want to talk, I guess she'll teach you how to do it. <laughs> so, it was her. Yeah. So I mean, was, I mean, uh, she she just had to update us on her new big like, no more baby. She's going to be a big girl oh, and. Okay. Okay. She's okay. Just let me know when you're ready. I'll be happy to sit here. Let's morning. call tonight. <clears throat> he still is coming. I'm going to Hey, I just got to do the hey, wait, don't you want to go with the sugar buzz? Yeah, that's even, it's even better. Because it's hyper now. Okay, wait. This is another you? thing. You know what? I'm going to shut up because last time we talked about ghosts no, and sugar. Up. Uh, Leah's had a good idea. All right, good one. He says his friend lives in an old schoolhouse. Those are always fun. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, in Goebbels. Oh, oh, hell no. Hey, Goebbels. isn't that where... Um, that's my challenge. Wait, what was her name? I'm so sorry. Esther Gonzalez. Where she had that doll? Yeah! Where she oh, had doll? that doll? Yeah, that's where my phone messed up. Yeah, that's where my phone messed up. That's right. <clears throat> yeah, it was somewhere <clears throat> else. She said they dug it in the property. Okay. I didn't even finish Yeah, her parents. 
her parents and her aunts and uncles got together and they took all the pieces. They took arm off and legs yeah. and their heads. And they went to every different county or whatever different city and they buried it in the woods somewhere. So it's following them somewhere. Uh, he says, uh, Bilbo's in that place is active every night. They've been there for years now. His, him and his wife thought she was talking to him. Look, here, hold on. Been there for years. His wife thought she was talking to him, looking at him standing in the closet. But he responded from the bathroom down the hall. So, <coughs> that made me think about what was he just standing there? But I'm going to go down this aspect. My grandma, she was from Missouri, Charleston, Missouri. She used to tell us that when we were growing up. We would answer her, like, we would be in different places in the house, in the yard. She would always remind us, you never answer something that is calling you because you never know if it's actually the person or not. So if you respond to something, she was like, unless you physically see that person, you do not answer. So that was the one rule in her, in our family on my dad's side. Theory, theory has it, okay? Theory has it. So in the spirits of paranormal, Mm -hmm. you are not to have welcome mats. Yes. I told you. You can't have welcome mats because you're welcoming anything that comes to the door. Yes. Well, you could also. And it's a disrespectful thing and it's bad in spirits when you have your family name on a flat the mat, Mm -hmm. then everybody's stepping on your family name. I mean, that's my biggest thing. Like, no offense, when I I do my crafting and I do a lot of different things, and people want me to make the welcome mats, and I don't. Just knowing the things like that, I don't feel comfortable doing that for people, but I mean, I let them know they make that choice. That is, I can't force them not to do it. But when it came to like our apartment and the shop, I will not put no welcome. No offense. That's true. Because I'm not welcoming something in there. And just like like we said before, in Miller Inc., every night, because we have different energies coming in, I mean, we try to keep the same vibe that we have, like, just calm, relaxing vibe. I mean, I got you guys a candle to go with the same vibe over well, there. Well, um, you know the camp, though. Cam the only broke it. <coughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> let's let, uh, after Hold the up. show. After the show. Okay. After the show. Okay, but anyway. After the show. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, broke the candle. Anyway, so I mean, we do sage because we have had it, and this is one. I celery, mm-hmm. carrots, potatoes, soup. Okay, anyway, <laughs> sage, sage the shop. But I mean, Junior didn't realize until we had one client. She was brought in this total negative vibe, but it didn't only affect her, it started affecting the other people in the studio. Mm. So whatever she had was changing the moods of everybody in the shop. Wow. After she left, it was a complete sage down. Yeah, definitely. Like, yeah, you definitely got to do that. Because then you're going to be like, alright, so who brought the bitch in? <laughs> who brought the negative asshole? Get them out of here. Because... You know, you want to make sure that your place is nice and clean, and you start fresh. And uh, we never did that here. <laughs> yeah, we did. Did yeah. we? Oh yeah, we did. Uh, when Louise's mom, grandma, or was Mrs. Mom, that did great. She prayed again. I heard back. Is it the party store? No, that's usually right here. Oh yeah, it might be the party store. All right, well let's go ahead and call it a night because we're over an hour. So uh, we appreciate everybody watching. We we, uh, we get, you know, this this might actually be the new way to do the podcast because I can spin in my chair, can get people in the background at a different angles. How do you guys like that? You can't imagine. You're good reason. Anyway, uh, we love we love everybody. We we, we uh, prayers to everybody and uh, what have you. So. Uh, <laughs> Be safe out there. Watch out for those red light runners because you know I'm out there. Um, I'm just joking. Sorry, JC. I run the green lights. Uh, so. Did he? And occasional yellows. So just watch out. Uh, Tracy, have a good night. Um, you will later. <laughs> I'll just give him a ring, 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 ring,
<laughs> I was going to say that. Anyway, uh, all right, well, everybody have a good night. Uh, well, yeah, I guess that's it. Um, again, get a hold of Moyo. Southside Cuts. 836-7502. They are hiring at Southside Cuts. Blumma Club. Three more people they need. Three. Why does it hurt? <laughs> He's like, have a good night, everybody. <laughs> yeah, have a good night. Everybody, have a good night. Peace. I can't get off the things that slow connection now. Oh, man. There we go. I mean, we got still a little no. longer. <laughs> All right. Oh, I'm going to stop this.